Use this method at your own discretion. If your account gets banned, I am not liable for it and I warned you so. If you are just trying to hide from the servers that you are playing on, then this will be a little bit different for you and it's not going to be as ban worthy for you. Now, if you're using this to cheat the systems of the game, then yes, your account is liable to being banned and so is your IP address. For the record, I have not been banned at all on any server for using these exact methods and just these methods, not cheating or anything extra. But I also have not been banned for doing cheating methods as well in conjunction with this method. And before we get into the video, guys, could you please like, comment and subscribe for me? I really appreciate it. Did you get banned from your favorite RuneScape private server? Maybe those pesky RSPS mods caught on to your shady dealings. You guys can go ahead and skip to later parts in the video if you just want to go ahead and see the method itself. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at how they can actually ban you. So the first level of punishment is usually going to be something like a mute or a jail. And I mean account jail at that. If your account gets jailed, then you usually have to just go and talk to your moderator that jailed you and then try to get out that way or just wait the time out. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there's no method for you getting out. So our next level of punishment is actually going to be a jailed IP address. If you come across a jailed IP address, you will not be able to log in and play on any account that you make because every single account that you log in on will be jailed instantly our next level of punishment is going to be an account ban or an account lock this one's pretty self-explanatory but unfortunately we can't really do much about this so that brings us to our next level of punishment which is actually going to be an ip ban if you get an ip ban then you won't be able to log in on any account across that entire ip address now there's sometimes cases where you're actually not getting your ip banned but you're getting your mac address banned and to clear up some confusion when somebody says a vac ban they really do mean a mac address ban now when they do a quote unquote vac ban, they're actually banning just your IP address and your MAC address. So now that we know how they can actually punish us, how many of our punishments can we actually bypass? Three. So now let's stop talking about the what's and start talking about the hows. We don't really need anything too special, honestly. We just need VirtualBox, an ISO to go with VirtualBox, a VPN for a little bit of anonymity, and a proxy if you're trying to vote on these servers. I'll go ahead and leave all the links down the description for you guys go ahead and run VirtualBox. now click on new and put a new name for your virtual machine after you figured out a name go ahead and find where you put the image file when you downloaded it it'll usually be in your download section after you found it go ahead and click next for the next section just go ahead and keep the same user and password but make sure to remember them for the next part you can also keep it the same but i'm just going to go ahead and put 4,000 megabytes and two cpus the storage just depends on if you want to do this with more rsps's or if this is if you just want to do it with one rsps hit next a couple times and then load her up in the meantime just go ahead and click on the third link in the description it'll take you to a vpn page where you can go ahead and make it a new account while we're at it let's just go ahead and get this proxy out the way too all right now that you have all of your accounts and your vm is now set up let's just go ahead and log in and you can go ahead and close out of this screen uh I wouldn't even bother going through it at all. I just click quit. So you don't really need to do anything else, but you can update your system if you want to. But for right now, just go ahead and log into your Proton VPN or whatever VPN you're using. All right, so after you've logged in, go to account, scroll down to you see open VPN, username and password, and just copy and paste those to a notepad. Now head over to downloads and scroll down until you see open VPN configuration files. Click windows and then download any of the following VPNs. Now head over to your network settings and then add a new VPN. Now you want to import a new file and it's the same file that you just downloaded. Now copy and paste the username and password that I told you to copy down on a notepad. Now, the last thing that you have to do is just type in your password for the actual VM itself. So that'll be change me if you left it the same. Now that our VM's all ready and good to go, just go ahead and download your preferred RSPS client. So let's go ahead and just, let's take a breather, okay? We have our setup VM, enabled the VPN on our VM, and we also have downloaded our RuneScape private server on our VM. 
So the last thing that we need to do is actually install Java. So go ahead and type this into your terminal. When you get to this section, type Y for yes and just let it do its thing. After you're done installing, close the terminal and go back into your downloads folder. Right click your client download and click properties. Go over to permissions and then allow executing file as a program. Now you can go over to open with and then click on the Java application. Now go to your downloads folder, double click the client as usual and you can play the game just like you were going to if you were to install it on your regular computer at this point you guys are actually good to go you don't need to do anything else unless the server that you're playing on doesn't allow vpns if it doesn't allow vpns then there's other things and other ways that we can get around it i won't be showing you guys those right now but i'll go ahead and list some different ways that you guys can set up your vm to bypass any bans or issues that you're having and if you guys want to go ahead and vote on these vms then you should make sure that you put your proxy on your host pc and not the vm just to separate the two entities so not all servers actually work the same so some servers you actually won't be able to use the vpn version of this method and you'll have to use the vm without a vpn but you'll have to use a proxy as well if you come across a server like this then just don't worry you can still do this method it's just going to be a little bit different for you now with all that being said in the method in your hands now go ahead and try it out for yourself if it doesn't work then just keep messing around with different things try different ways but ultimately use that vm it's gonna work just you have to stay persistent if you guys enjoy the video go ahead like comment and subscribe for me i really appreciate it and all the feedback that you guys give me let me know all your questions and concerns down in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one